Thank you, Per. So, hello everyone. I'm Sebastian, like uh, Per said, and uh, you might have heard uh, of this uh, Wikipedia word list before. Um, this time, uh, actually, Per misspelled my first name as Sebastian, like uh, Einstein, so I'm hoping that uh, you're not expecting too much. <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> Um, so in 2012, at uh, Password 12, I presented um, um, the evolution from the first uh, Wikipedia word list that I published uh, on my blog in 2009 and thought uh, that maybe a friend or two would uh, read, but um, uh, never expected that uh, it would uh, attract such attention. And um, um, how uh, I improved it in 2012, etc. But um, actually, that was not the very first one I did. I did one a long time ago, I think 2004, um, which um, was really just me playing in a corner and uh, uh, not thinking of uh, releasing that uh, for anyone. But uh, it was already proving very useful. Um, and uh, after around five years, uh, I thought I really needed to update it uh, because. Um, well, for example, Twitter had become a new big thing and uh, my 2004 or 5 uh, word list didn't even have the word Twitter in it. Um, also, in the meantime, um, what I had started as a Wikipedia word list uh, purely from the Wikipedia site, it's maintained by um, the Wikimedia Foundation, which uh, now has um, hundreds of sites uh, in each language. For example, you can see for the English language, there's uh, the English Wikipedia that you know, but there's also Wikibooks, Wikinews, Wikiquote, and so on um, for each language. So the biggest uh, three being English, then German, then French, and uh, other big languages. Um, so this one was uh, still quite quick and dirty, very simple, just uh, cut uh, based on uh, spaces, punctuation, that kind of stuff. And uh, it had... Uh, really a huge amount of entries in it, uh, 58 and a half million of uh, purely alphabetic uh, sequences uh, because uh, if I added uh, the numbers as well then it would have been ridiculous, even more ridiculously big. Um, it's uh, 213 megabytes compressed, I think uh, uncompressed it's a text file of around 700 megabytes or something like that. So um, it was really something that I thought I'd just put on my blog and uh, maybe a friend will use someday. Uh, but then people at DEF CON started using it, talking about it, etc. And I think, oh wow, I really need to do something about it because <laughs> it's really bad when you start looking into it. It was all kinds of junk in it. Uh, because when you're on Wikipedia, you think it looks quite clean. And indeed, the biggest uh, pages, the most popular pages uh, are so frequently visited that if someone would try to deface or vandalize one, then quickly someone else would uh, correct that. But there's actually many, many uh, pages that don't get so many visits where you can just write all kinds of uh, stupid things and uh, that stays long enough for my program to pick it up. So uh, in 2012, I discussed uh, uh, how I was trying to reduce all that amount of uh, junk. And uh, then um, I also increased uh, largely the number of sites because uh, the Wikimedia Foundation continued growing in the meantime. So we went from almost 400 to uh, almost 600. Um, now there's uh, much fewer entries, uh, only uh, 28 million, but uh, it's uh, much, much better quality. And uh, in that sense, uh, uh, I uh, look forward to Dimitri's talk tomorrow about evaluating the quality of uh, word lists. Um, but uh, at least looking at it, uh, I think it was much better. And uh, it also even came with its own compression algorithm. And it was not just a text file anymore, but even a program that you could ask uh, to filter uh, to get uh, only Spanish words. And uh, for example, if you know that uh, I'm using an English uh, keyboard, then it's hard for me to type uh, French characters. So maybe my password doesn't have French characters in it. So you can say, OK, I'll just uh, take the uh, English key map and that kind of stuff. And uh, also, for WPA, you are not allowed all the characters. Sorry. Um, so you can also filter by that. And uh, then continuing on top of that, in 2014, last year, I was also at the conference. 
uh, everyone was expecting a, a new wear list, and I thought, hey, well, yeah, I'll have uh, not just a more uh, updated information in it, but also new features, etc. Like uh, this is a slide from the 2012 presentation. Uh, I hope you followed uh, the talk uh, uh, yesterday about the Markov chains, so I can uh, skip that uh, quickly. But uh, um, uh, in 2012, it was around the time of the US elections uh, uh, of uh, Barack Obama versus uh, Mitt Romney. And um, because you would see so many posters of uh, Obama for president or Mitt Romney for president, you would imagine that uh, people would see that outside of the window and choose that as a password. So you think, well, Let's see how I can get uh, to that as a sentence uh, with the mark, mark of chains, etc. But uh, it's much easier said than done because meat is a, also a Scandinavian word. So from Swedish songs and Norwegian songs, etc., it actually goes quickly in the other directions at the top. And uh, also if you're hoping uh, that at least you have the probability of going or jumping from meat to Romney, uh, then the third one, Mitt Romney for president, it's not even there yet. So um, that's actually a lot of work. And uh, as was said in the talk yesterday, it was taking five weeks, I think it was, for calculating the six steps. Um, so in the case of my word list, um, with um, like 38 millions of words or something like that, so I have to compare 38 million um, the probability of each one to connecting to another one of 38 million, etc. So it grows uh, exponentially, etc. It's uh, a big problem. But uh, anyway, I thought, uh, well, it was going to be awesome. But in practice, <laughs> uh, what I started noticing was that actually in practice it cracks uh, fewer and fewer passwords. So that's uh, really not good. Um, so then I. Uh, I realized it um, sounds like a familiar problem of uh, something that the more I think about, the worse it gets. Um, I had an um, uh, ex-girlfriend who would uh, often tell me, Sebastian, you think too much. Um, and that I think she's, she's right. So, <laughs> um, so this, um, this is a character from a Belgian comic. Uh, I didn't, uh, unfortunately, have a chance to go to Paris to scan uh, my own version. It's supposed to be in French, that's why it's in, uh, in Spanish, but, um, and also that's why I only have those uh, parts. But um, it's a, a side character that is recurring um, every now and then in those uh, series of comics, and all he ever does is just his, uh, uh, how to say, um, pondering about uh, crazy equations, etc. and uh, completely oblivious to what's happening around him. So um, sometimes I have to be careful that uh, I don't become like that uh, because that could be <laughs> me uh, shopping, me clubbing, me jogging, etc. Um, and then finally, when uh, for the first time he speaks in those comics, uh, he says, uh, uh, I don't speak Spanish, but uh, it's basically, uh, ah, I found it, it's uh, amazing, ha ha ha. And um, so I have been spending all this time optimizing my algorithms, etc. And uh, what's the point of that if uh, in the end it's leading to nothing? Or what's the point if you're a nuclear physicist uh, having solved all of your crazy equations if you then get uh, mistakenly eaten by a vegetarian dinosaur? <laughs> so I thought, OK, I really need to stop overthinking. And uh, let's start from scratch. Uh, what exactly is a word? <laughs> so, <laughs> that, that's a really old uh, graphic. Um, I think it was uh, maybe even the well, early uh, uh, notice, do you say, or 2002? But uh, at the time, of course, uh, it was funny by itself. But uh, um, I also like how true for me it's become the sub-description there, because um, you have words that are, uh, you would normally consider just uh, letters, etc. But you will see now it's actually letters and shit. <laughs> so um, how do you then isolate a word if you don't want to take into account the punctuation at all? Um, 
So for example, you all know this uh, XKCD comic. Uh, we quote it uh, often in the presentations. And uh, he gives this advice of uh, creating a passphrase based on four words. And then there's lots of debate around it because uh, he defines the entropy of that as being quite high, but uh, other people would say, well, four English words of the dictionary, I can easily combine them and uh, crack, that, uh, crack that quickly. But uh, the question is, are you sure you really have all the words? Because uh, the author of XKCD is a, a former NASA engineer. Um, so I imagine that might be what he has normally on his desk. He has a, like a battery, a staple. Um, he's into correctness as a physicist or mathematics uh, engineer. And uh, maybe he's into horses too. So um, that might be his kind of vocabulary. But uh, what if you're a terrorist, for example? And uh, uh, I've seen in the past uh, some uh, had uh, even their email address was uh, Jihad uh, 11 September, which is French for 9-11. And you think, uh, wow, if they already have that obsession in even the name of their email address, what do they put in their password? So maybe they will put 9-11, then the type of aircraft or one of the two planes uh, that crashed uh, in the World Trade Center. Then um, normally, I imagine uh, the ammunition of choice for terrorists uh, would be uh, 762 for the Kalashnikov. But uh, you'll see that I find this uh, other dot 40 Smith and Wesson an even better example because it's really difficult to uh, make a computer understand that this is a word by itself because you see it has a dot uh, at the beginning and uh, ampersand in the middle of the second word and uh, space in the middle. Um, and the last part is, uh, well, why not uh, make it a Christian terrorist uh, with a quote, uh, the most famous pas uh, passage from the Bible. Um, so, as I was saying, um, this uh, dot .40 Smith & Wesson uh, cartridge, uh, that's uh, just uh, parts from the Wikipedia article about this uh, ammunition. And uh, as you can see, uh, in the beginning, uh, the word itself is um, not at the beginning of the sentence, not in the middle either, but uh, somewhere in the middle. Um, but then, in the second uh, entry, it's uh, starting with a dot. And at the end, it's at the very end of the sentence, but you still have to make your program understand that the dot at the end of the sentence is not part of the word as the dot before the 40 is. So um, I, by lack of a better word, I thought, uh, well, why not call these uh, more complicated words um, I don't want to call them complex words because uh, then we might uh, confuse them with complex passwords and they are not, but they're more complicated than regular words. So that's what I refer to as beyond words. Then um, there was a presentation in uh, other uh, passwords conferences before about a new tool called the Word Hound. And uh, it's a great uh, tool uh, that uh, you can use to build your own word list, etc. But uh, it's doing uh, what I was doing at the beginning, cutting uh, based on the spaces and punctuation and that kind of stuff. So how do you not take this approach and try to zone in on this uh, word in the middle of the sentence uh, without knowing anything about what's the uh, beginning and ending of a word? So. In the upper left, for example, um, we have um, a pass, let's say, that is uh, uh, looking at each sequence of uh, six bytes. And uh, it's in red because it has no chance of uh, zoning in, in onto that word because it's uh, seven characters. So it's in red. Then the upper right, um, it's in yellow when it's uh, just before or just after on it. Green when it's really on it. And the rest also is uh, eight, nine bytes, etc. So no chance of uh, zoning in onto that particular word. Of course, it will find other words that are eight or nine characters. So one idea that I thought might be clever was, uh, hey, if we look at uh, what is uh, actually surrounding uh, each of these sequences, 
So I did a little test, uh, all that's from the page itself, etc. And you can see on the left, if you look at um, uh, the sequence that is uh, just before um, the dot 40 Smith and Wesson uh, ammunition, uh, you will see that um, it's um, not stable at all. On the left, uh, it's uh, being preceded uh, by uh, all kinds of uh, different characters. And then the last, uh, the following characters is always a W. While on the right side, you have the opposite, that um, it's only ever preceded by a dot, and it's followed by all kinds of different characters. However, in the middle, it's uh, fairly stable that um, it's either a space or um, quotes for, uh, or a dot on the side, but it overall is balanced um, for this uh, seven, sequence, uh, seven character sequence when you are right in on it. So I thought, hey, this is working uh, quite good. So uh, I will uh, now spend a lot of time into kernel hacking to allocate gigabytes of uh, memory contiguously and uh, process all of Wikipedia, etc., to find all the um, unique sequences of uh, seven characters, eight, nine, and so on, and look into renting uh, Amazon servers, etc., to do that. Uh, so I thought uh, that's going to be awesome. But um, when uh, I started getting the first results, um, actually, you find that uh, when you look at the nine uh, character sequence, so uh, you find as a stable sequence, the same word of dot uh, 40 Smith and Wesson with a space at the beginning and at the end. So those, uh, I forgot to mention, but the white rectangles are to uh, show the spaces. Um, so they are, prefixed or uh, preceded by all kinds of characters on the left, all kinds of characters on the right, etc. So uh, this method of uh, trying to isolate this uh, particular sequence by itself uh, is not working so far. And uh, then I thought, uh, sorry, I'll get back to that. Um, so I thought uh, I need uh, a better way because uh, as humans we can obviously see that um, uh, there's a word in there or a concept, a beyond word, that is uh, repeated uh, many times throughout the page. So just by a glance at the page, you can uh, decide that uh, it's actually a thing, this uh, dot .40 SNW, it's uh, a beyond word by itself. So I thought, hey, well, maybe it's a vision thing. So. Um, if you're familiar with computer vision, um, and uh, since uh, those kind of graphs are already starting to look like neural networks, I thought, hey, it uh, may be a neural network problem. And uh, then, um, I don't know if you followed uh, earlier in the summer, Google released this. Uh, the latest uh, advances, uh, this uh, going deeper into neural networks, where they are trying to teach their uh, machines, basically, how to recognize dogs from uh, not necessarily having the perfect training set to say, well, this is all kinds of dogs uh, that are possible. So they are basically taking all of Google images and letting the machine trying to figure it out by itself, which is sort of like what I'm trying to do with uh, giving it Wikipedia and not telling it what exactly a word is. But as you can see, uh, that's the sta state of the art of uh, Google research itself, which has uh, lots of uh, clever people and uh, lots of uh, time. Uh, and it still finds dogs absolutely everywhere in the picture, in the nose of the horse and in the helmet of the knight, etc. So that's when I realized, okay, maybe I'm overthinking again. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's uh, drop all of that and uh, just uh, see what happens if I uh, just keep it simple, stupid, to reuse the Unix philosophy, for example, and just pipe out uh, all the output of my very early um, program to cut all kinds of um, fixed sequences from Wikipedia. And um, I started cracking all of these from uh, LinkedIn, for example. Um, and uh, that's the uh, first thing I noticed is, uh, if you see, it's hard to say uh, what the person meant to have as a password. Of course, uh, when it's exactly 
16 uh, characters, or maybe it's, uh, how do you say, on the boundary of a word. So um, you don't know if it was supposed to be longer, but uh, there's many of them where it's, uh, for example, academic excellent, uh, the second uh, column at the top. Uh, it should have been excellence. So, you know, there's uh, something happening here. And um, I don't know if um, this is uh, something that is being done already in all the cracking tools, but um, you have uh, so many websites that uh, you at least used to uh, force you to have a password uh, smaller than their fixed column size in their database when they were, uh, or maybe still are, storing your password in clear text. Uh, or if uh, they didn't tell you, they would just silently truncate your password to 16 bytes, uh, in this case, for example, of uh, LinkedIn. Um, and uh, every time, maybe you will be typing academic excellence, or at least in Wonderland and, and so on. Uh, but uh, concretely, what's happening is that it's truncated and that's only that part that is hashed. So, uh, for example, last year, um, Jens uh, from Atom from Hashcat uh, was uh, talking about uh, his method of uh, print mode to create, uh, associate uh, words uh, together to do like a correct horse battery staple. Uh, and uh, you have to keep in mind that uh, you might have to cut um, the last part to fit uh, that kind of uh, model. And also uh, note that I wrote uh, bytes as opposed to characters, even if I sometimes uh, make the uh, I, sh I should really distinguish the two. Um, it's because it's 16 characters if you're only using uh, English uh, characters. But um, in uh, Unicode, of course, uh, to support all the languages of uh, um, well, French, accents, and everything, uh, Chinese and new emoji, etc., each character can take between one and six bytes. So when it's truncated at 16 bytes, and uh, you're uh, choosing a password in a language that is uh, um, using uh, complex longer characters, maybe your password is actually only three or four characters in the database. So another thing I noticed is uh, I came across this and uh, I thought, oh wow, how did that get here? It looks like uh, one of my old passwords. So uh, I was panicked for a moment and uh, then uh, couldn't, uh, it wasn't my old LinkedIn password. So um, I Googled for it and I found it in the middle of a hexadecimal dump. So I still have trouble understanding how someone chose that as a password. Maybe they just copy pasted uh, randomly from uh, something. Uh, but um, at least it's showing a use of uh, cracking passwords uh, by just keeping it uh, simple uh, that uh, you would have otherwise had a really uh, trouble cracking. So uh, if you remember the title of my first slide, uh, this uh, in the beginning was the word. Uh, I was very proud of that because uh, it's one of the first uh, things I cracked as well. Uh, 29 uh, letters um, password. That is uh, actually a real password. Uh, and I thought, uh, well, perfect subtitle for my presentation. Except uh, then, uh, Looking back at old stuff, etc., I came across uh, this, showing that, uh, of course, it was also cracked uh, within uh, 24 hours uh, in 2012 when the LinkedIn uh, reach uh, came out. So I uh, was uh, disappointed, but uh, still, as you can see in the bottom right, I cracked up to 42 characters. Um, but they make a great point of um, uh, using the Bible uh, to see um, beyond Wikipedia, what you can put in it. So I uh, said, uh, well, let's see what happens if I put all of Wikipedia, uh, all of the Bible in my new, very simple uh, cracking uh, thing. And uh, then you find all of these complex uh, beyond words, but uh, still bad passwords because they are quite easy to crack. And um, as you noticed in the upper left, it also says uh, Han Solo. And I thought, what's Han Solo doing in the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, okay. what uh, I find even more awesome is that it's in the Gospel of Luke. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 
So then, uh, if you think, uh, well, for some people, uh, there's uh, other types of Bible, and uh, sorry, I have to skip, but I did that, of course, for the Quran, the Torah, etc., and uh, it's uh, just as useful. But uh, also, uh, you can do it for. You can, you can find Star Wars in all of them. Um, <laughs> not yet, <laughs> but uh, no, I meant uh, that um, uh, some people take Star Wars so seriously that uh, they are likely to have some Star Wars reference uh, as a password. and. Uh, um, if you know this wikia.com sites, it's not part of the wikia, uh, Wikimedia Foundation sites that I was uh, processing so far, uh, but it's still the same software, the same uh, kind of database, etc. So I thought, hey, let's take uh, all of Star Wars and uh, see what uh, we can find. And you can see there's lots of uh, Star Wars passwords. Um, then, actually, somewhere in there, uh, should, yeah, at the top uh, second column it says I'll be back, which uh, I guess is somewhere in Star Wars, but uh, for me it means uh, more like a Terminator. So I thought, hey, let's take not uh, all the movies from Wiki, uh, Wikia, but uh, let's take all the subtitles uh, that I can find uh, on the internet, and uh, they're very small files. So now you start cracking a lot uh, longer passwords that are um, uh, uh, streams of consciousness, uh, as you can see, uh, for example, uh, um, at the top it says, um, uh, "Je suis en vacances. I am on holiday." And well, uh, sorry, I have to <laughs> go faster. Uh, and the uh, other source of uh, stream of consciousness is uh, Twitter. So from Twitter, you can uh, get a full feed um, of everything uh, that's public, etc. But you have to pay for it. That's called the Firehose. Uh, but you can also get uh, several gigabytes per day, uh, just as a developer, you uh, register for free, and uh, you can use the second link. So um, again, in this uh, idea of uh, people choosing passwords the way they think in their heads, uh, you can see they, these are um, real tweets that I copy-pasted that help me uh, crack what I highlighted in green. So some people on LinkedIn, their password was, I always forget my password, or I should remember, I need a vacation, etc. So all these are real passwords that you crack very quickly with Twitter. <laughs> uh, so, well, I, if I did Twitter, why not IRC? So uh, that's also cracking other things. Uh, and then I started uh, seeing a pattern that um, uh, those ones and many others, uh, I had to manually pick uh, several, uh, they are common to all of these from Wikipedia, Twitter, uh, IRC, the subtitles, etc. They appear everywhere. However, they crack a lot faster on the smaller ones uh, like uh, Twitter and IRC where it's a uh, more human talk than uh, what you find in uh, Wikipedia where it's very, maybe not formal, but uh, talking um, in general, as opposed to what you are thinking in your head. It's rarely the first person uh, on uh, Wikipedia. How many more slides do you have? Uh, that, that's the end, uh, basically. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll let them finish. I like this stuff. <laughs> Um, so yeah, basically this uh, presentation, uh, I'm sorry if you expected some brand new awesome crack or something like that, but uh, um, as opposed to that, it's uh, some ideas that I have been brainstorming alone in my head and uh, I need help, basically. <laughs> so um, you are more than welcome uh, to uh, suggest ideas, etc. And um, so for example, one thing that I think we could do uh, soon that would already improve that is um, find some possible optimization uh, in the way we hash all those passwords to allow for this uh, uh, cracking using a huge pipeline like the Twitter firehose. Um, so for example, the first one is uh, if you are familiar with CRCs, you can actually compute the next one by subtracting the previous one, but that's probably not possible with more complex hashes like MD5 and bcrypt and that kind of stuff. But at least we could do some optimizations of uh, calculating perhaps all the hashes of, uh, well, eight, nine, and up to 40 and so on uh, characters uh, in one go by using the update function and that kind of stuff. And there's also lots of other interesting properties of uh, languages, uh, like uh, this uh, zip slow. Uh, I, you have to read more about that. Um, but uh, overall, uh, if, uh, <laughs> 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 if 
because this is a security conference, the, at least the one thing you can take from this is that, uh, yes, do not use a passphrase that might have been written anywhere ever because look at all of these, those are all insecure passwords. So, um, that, that, even that password, passphrase there had not been written. So. Well, do that. those are all real LinkedIn passwords that I have cracked. So, um, and you can see they're sort of complex. Uh, so you think, uh, well, uh, they would have been strong, but uh, actually they were quite quickly cracked. So uh, to comply with the parents' demands, I have included a kitten. <laughs> and uh, I welcome any question. Or <laughs>